Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would be demonstrating you how to do color correction in Wondershare Filmora. We'll go with all the options that are available in the menu, the things that are possible with the software and how to make your video or an image look a lot more better in Wondershare Filmora using the tools that are provided with them. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So that's the interface of Wondershare Filmora. Now, what we need to do is, let's say we just grab a video with the ones that are given in the samples. So let's say I choose this one, hold that video and drop it over your timeline. Once we have the video onto the timeline, just stretch it out a bit so it's easier for you to see what's happening in the video. Now in order to color grade, first of all, double click on the video, a menu will appear up here. Now if you go to the color menu and then if you go to advanced, you will be able to appear in this and reach this particular menu. Otherwise, the easier option would be if you just click on this option where it where you can see the paint kind of option, paint kind of logo. Click on that and there would be two different options, color correction or color match. Click on color correction and again, you would be reaching the very same menu. Now, right now, as you could see, there's many presets that have been given by them. If you want, if you do not have a lot of time in editing and if you just want to kind of do some basic nitty gritty stuff, just click on that and it will, as you could see, automatically apply that effect without you guys doing much of the stuff. But if you actually want to delve deep into the stuff, this is how we can do it. First of all, now this is very helpful according to me. If you ever make a mistake, just click on reset all and it will reset the complete thing. Now let's go to the adjust menu and see what options we have. First we have is the color enhancement. Now in color enhancement, if you again, like I said, if you want, you can just click on the auto option and it will automatically just correct the color based on the type of video. Otherwise you can do it according to your preferences by increasing the threshold and by increasing the value. According to me, it just basically increases the brightness level of the video. So let's not just play with color enhancement because according to me it's bright enough next option we have is the white balance now before we go with white balance a pro tip or a golden tip i would say is if you have any sort of artificial light turned on in your laptop or pcs or wherever you are editing your videos prefer turning it off for example i use night light which is very easy on my eyes when i'm using my laptop but just when i when when you're doing your color correction prefer turning it off because it will just make that video or make that screen raw in front of you. So now whenever you color correct, you know that it's going to be absolutely perfect afterwards because you're not using any artificial light while doing the color correction. So that's the normal video. Now, right now I can see that temperature is pretty much what I want, but I would still prefer just increasing it slightly so that I can have a bit of yellowish color going on in the video. So once you're happy with the result, let's say I want to keep it at six. Like I said, everyone's artistic mind will prefer doing it at a bit different level. I feel that according to this video, six is good enough. Tint is just to change it a bit greenish or a bit purplish kind of color. But like looking at this, I am happy with what it is at the moment, but I'll just move it a bit towards a greenish side like this. Next option we have is the 3D LUT. Now this is uh, just again pre uh, set pre default ones that have been given by them. So pretty much they have given us few movies uh, here. You can just select any one and you will be getting that feel of that movie in your video. Let's say if you have watched the Harry Potter, we know the colors that they have used in Harry Potter. If you click on that, as you would see, it's a bit darkish kind of theme. So if again, you don't want to do the custom color correction. You can just go with any LUT that you want. If you're not happy with the thing, just click on delete and it will just delete that off. Next option we have is the color. Now in color, there's six or five different options that they have given. As you could see, exposure, brightness, contrast. Now exposure as in how much light do you want to let in the video? Let's say if I, now lighting according to me, it was already perfect. So I don't want to have any more. Brightness, again, I feel that it's bright enough. Now contrast is something that I definitely like to have a bit more. Now, according to this video, I think 25 or 26, let's say 25 is good enough. Afterwards we have is vibrance and saturation. 
now since this is on a mountain or something so it looks a bit dull so i can just increase this little bit let's say 20 here and saturation also i'm happy with 10 any more than that it's just kind of bursting out the image afterwards we have is the light option here we have again four different options highlights shadows whites or blacks now highlights if you just go to the very right hand side you will see that it doesn't really look great enough it, it has just bursted off the pixels of the video and if you just go to the extreme left it looks okay but let's say i want to have it a bit on the left hand side like this just to make it look a bit more cinematic and on the shadows now if i just go to the very left it's gone a lot darker and go on the extreme right it's just terrible so I'll just go with it on the left hand side, let's say minus 12. For the whites, as you would see, I am happy to leave it as where it is already. And for the blacks, let's see. On the right hand side, it's looking fine. Left hand side, it's just making it worse. So according to me, it's, it's okay here at minus, let's say minus five. Afterwards we have is HSL. Now that's just the, what sort of color vibe do you want in the video? If you go with orange, and if you try to increase or decrease, you would see that it's making the video like this, but it's just making it look a bit more artificial. So since it's a natural kind of video, I would prefer leaving it natural. And then we innate option here. It just means that corners would be either made black or white. So this again, if you want, you can do that. Otherwise I prefer not using it, but this is how you can just do it. Size, you can increase or decrease based on your requirement, then roundness how round you want your circle to be, feather, how blurry you want that vignette effect to be, exposure, and then highlight all these options. I, like I said, I prefer leaving it blank. So this is what I have got as my final result. Once you click on okay, you would be able to see that live in the action. Now, easier way to compare this would be if you just go back to the same video, double click on that, you would be able to see it naturally as in the original video and if you click on your video again you would be able to see the difference now see how how great it looks now so this is how you can color grade in wondership filmora how simple is this tool but i'm actually surprised by how much stuff is available in wondership filmora and how many things are possible with wondership filmora that's my go-to tool on a day-to-day -day basis and like i said i would be coming up with a lot more videos in the future as well in regards to tutorials for this software and many other softwares but this would be the primary focus so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something new out of it and i hope you understood how to do the color grading if you have any sort of questions do not hesitate to post them in the comment section below and i'll make sure that i reply you guys as quickly as possible and if you have any sort of specific content in your mind that you want me to produce and create videos on again just post them in the comment section below and i will start making videos on those things first with that i'm done with this video again thank you so much for watching if you are new to this channel do consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up you get notified about them straight away take care stay safe wherever you are and i will see you guys in the next video